So it sounds like, you know, one of your, <clears throat> like part of your sort of philosophy around how you want your kids to be able to grow up is to have like a sense of agency and autonomy to be able to like experience things, reflect on whether they enjoyed it or not, make an active participant decision of whether they want to yeah. continue on or change things. And that makes a lot of sense to me. I think the idea of, of agency is really important for adults and it's extremely important for children because the last thing you want is to like, as a parent, one, it's impossible practically, but you also kind of like are running a risk of, of in the long term not being really that, that good for your kid if you micromanage every decision they make everything they participate in, you know, and don't give them that sense of agency and control over their life. So that's something that for me philosophically makes a lot of sense of like how I would like my son to grow up and the types of things that, that he wants to participate in and sort of like build it from the ground up of like, Hey, you know what? You can do any of these things you want. The only thing that I want you to, to understand is like, if you're going to do it, I want you to do it to like the most of your ability, like have a great time with it, do it the best you can really get as much out of it as you can. And if you don't want to do it anymore, we'll find something else for you to do. No problem. Yeah. Um, no, for sure. I mean, I that, think that's definitely kind of like a degree of what it is. And I mean, so my oldest is very outgoing and like wants to try new things and gets excited about the outfits and the new soccer gear and the new baseball gear, like gets excited about that. And my youngest or my second one, I always say youngest, but second one is, he's a little more reserved, <clears throat> sits back, takes things in, but is extremely gifted athletically. Like the way he, I mean, so he's three currently, but the way like he knows how to ride dirt bikes, he knows how to play baseball very well, like knows how to make switch, trap the ball in soccer, switch legs, kick both with like, so he's very naturally gifted in that side. But more athletic gets, than I am. Got it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for sure. Even, <laughs> even me, probably. Um, but when he gets in those environments, shuts down. So it's, as a parent, it's hard because like he's crying and doesn't want to do it. So you're having to learn how to <clears throat> understand like what he's emotionally going through and be able to be like, calm down. It's okay. Just sit here. Let's hang back. You can just watch and see. But it's definitely a challenge. And so I think you have one kid that's like, Oh, I'm all about it. I want to go. I want to try. And then you have the next one. You're like, you're so talented, but you're like terrified. Um, like I remember we went to the pool to go swim and there was a lot of people at the neighborhood pool. And he literally just sat there for like 10 minutes and observed everybody <clears throat> before he even got in just to like, he said, there's too many people, but just, yeah then he like slowly starts warm up and I believe it's going to go away and he'll get out of that phase eventually. And then he'll realize that he is very talented at sports and then probably start to pick it up. Um, but it's like, Hey, do you want to go do this? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when you get there full shutdown, mm -hmm. like shutdown will not do it. Like we've done it at jujitsu. We've done it at baseball. It just does not want to go on the field, does not want any part of it. And it's funny because of how excited he gets, but it's also, as a parent, you have to learn how to interact with that child and teach him a different way to understand his emotions and be able to go out there and at least try um, where like your other kid might not be like that. And so they just kind of will run off and go play and be excited about it. So yeah, as parents, you're kind of like always learning and trying to do what's best for them, but he's definitely more like me. He's more emotional. He's more, um, <clears throat> gets excited or overwhelmed very quickly but then my wife's very just like all the time which is kind of like the oldest one so it's kind of funny to just see how the interactions and the feelings and emotions on how they'll kind of go with like one parent or the other yeah i i i have a theory that um i have a theory that kids train you as much as you tra train isn't the right word but like the yeah. you, you basically kids develop you as a parent as much as you develop them as kids because oh i would agree with that my my experience the reason why i came up with this is that like i have uh you know i have i have nieces and nephews both on on my side of the family as well as my wife's side of the family and interacting with toddlers like two, you know, two or three year olds is like overwhelming to the point where i am just 
I'm shut off. I can't, I cannot interact with toddlers. I don't know how to talk to them. I don't know how to deal with them. I don't know what ways to like, uh, exactly. I <laughs> and, then, and I don't know what, like how to like stop them from doing the things I don't want them to do and to encourage them to do the things that are like really cool for them to do. Yeah. And like, there's no, there is no language, like there's no bear, like there's no language or, uh, you know, any sort of uh, you know, base layer of understanding that I have with a toddler because I haven't had that two to three years of interacting with them. And I feel like my son is going to end up training me to be much more patient and able to deal with a toddler, but it's going to take two years. Like it's going to take him two yeah. years to, to get me there. Uh, and so this idea of like, you know, you're, you and your kids, it's like a two way street of like what you essentially teach each other. Um, is like something I'm trying to hold on to because I, I think there's a lot of little things of like my own little patience that uh, I need to develop around, you know, being okay with, cause like, you know, I, we have three dogs as well. And like the, the dogs are fantastic. They're very well behaved, but they do get on my nerves a little bit. And I'm like, I need to be able to like tone this down for when, you know, my son's get, getting ready to like understand how to interact with pets that he doesn't do it the way that I do it. Like I need to train myself up yeah. and like level up my game so that I'm also a good example for, for, for what he's oh, got. For sure. Yeah. Things that are going to bother you, they're going to do, and you're going to have to learn to cope with it and deal with it. But yeah, I mean, it's, <clears throat> Yeah, it's, def it's definitely cool, though, because it teaches you a different perspective of how you react to certain things and, like, you have to respond calmer and not get as fired up, like, where, like, emotionally, like, you just want to yell and sometimes be like, no, that's not right, but then yeah. you'll understand some of them don't respond to that, right? Then it's like a full shutdown and it's like, oh, that just backfired. No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. It just, you weren't supposed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> um where then your other one, then it's just like, then they think that's normal. Then they yell, right? Or if it's like, oh, you pinch him on his butt or something, then he thinks it's okay. Then he goes and starts pinching everybody else. And you're like, no, that backfired as well. Okay, can't do that too. But it's definitely, yeah, learning from each of them on how, what they respond well to, what they don't respond well to. Okay, you have to like take them into another room and like have a discussion and like, like my oldest can just process things quicker than my other two. And so then when you're talking with him, like he understands it immediately. And then, so then you're almost used to that. But then when you have a talk with the other one, like he doesn't process it like that. So then it's like learning how to co or not cooperate, but uh, interpret a better way that he understands it. That's not as aggressive or it's just funny. Like you'll say, Oh, well, we're not going to do this. And the second one's like, I don't care. <laughs> and then if you said my oldest one is like no how dare you no like full meltdown of like don't you take this away but my other one's like i don't care do it mm -hmm.